It's time for your daily Bitcoin and altcoin update with Framework Fortune Crypto. I am your host Ben and man is it a bloodbath out there. Let's not waste any time and dive right in. Bitcoin has cracked that trend line. Now I have the EMAs up here. This is the 20 day moving average and it was holding that for a very long time. Back in 2017 when it went on this run it bounced off of there multiple times. So looking for this candle, this is a weekly candle to close, which we'll know by Monday, back above at least this 20 day moving average. Now I'm adding the weekly chart and the 20 EMA to my arsenal for cryptos. I talked to our good friend over at Confident in Crypto, Liam Connor, and clips from that discussion will be posted all through the week. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can hear what Liam has to say about this market and also check out Confident in Crypto. But this is what he is using and he is very accurate with his chart analysis on cryptos. I am trying to use my chart analysis from the stock market and it has worked out pretty well so far. I did get this rebound a little bit wrong this weekend, but I did say if Bitcoin dropped below that 48,000 area that this could get ugly. So that's why I was telling everybody keep a close eye on Bitcoin to see what effects it has on the market and clearly it is affecting the market pretty hard. So at this point if this candle does not close back above these areas. We could see Bitcoin all the way down to 40,000, maybe even 38, 37. Ether on the weekly still looks pretty bullish. We are still consolidating. We go into the four hour chart, we'll be able to see it better. We did crack below that 3,500 line, which I did not want to see. So that kind of messes up this triangle, but it is trying to hold around this 3,350 area currently. So as long as it can try to make its way back up into this triangle, we could see Ether continue to run and maybe that will hype up some of the altcoin. Matic, this triangle that I did draw started to form, but with the drop of Bitcoin, you can see it has cracked out of that and it is holding up the 20 moving average right now. So this could be a possible buying opportunity, but if it cracks through this moving average and there's also support at 150, then we could see Matic all the way back down to 120. So we're going to pretty much need the altcoin bull run to continue. Now Doge was looking very nice. It has now turned around and came all the way back down to the trend line, even cracked it. It's currently trying to get back above it. A lot of selling right through here and the moving averages are pointing down. So it is going to have to pivot and it's going to have to break this downtrend very soon if it's going to continue its run. If it does not break this downtrend, it will continue to ride right down it until it finds a new area of support. We could be seeing buying opportunities on some of these coins, but just be aware that they are at levels, testing support levels, that if they crack, could lead to even bigger pullbacks than we're currently having. Now, Shiba, I was one people against last night, and you can see that it's cracking below that support area that we drew out. That did not hold. So now it's trying to build some support right along here at this bottom like I was talking about it would go to next and test. So we got to be cautious until we get some type of turnaround because you don't want to be jumping in thinking this is some type of buying opportunity and it just drop on you. I did some more research on Shiba and I don't particularly like how many tokens there are out there. The circulating supply for Shiba is huge. But there is a little glimmer of light in the crypto market. Numera, one that I've been talking about a little bit off and on through the week, I said this one is a very unique one and that you should keep an eye on it. It broke up out of the triangle, a nice bullish move actually almost doubling in price from this 55 area that we looked at yesterday all the way up to almost $100. So Numera still very bullish. This is a sign that maybe we're going out of the Bitcoin heavy bull market into a full on hot altcoin market that does not pay attention to what Bitcoin's doing anymore. Right now it is pretty high up around the $85 area. It does have some support maybe in this 80 area that it could build on. But we'll see it's too early to tell right now. But very nice rip on Numera. My swings, I'm still holding just a little bit longer. TRB dropping below that support. That if it can pivot here, then it's real close to the downtrend and could break this time. If it cannot hold this kind of 89.90 area right here, then I will be getting out. Anchor, same thing, has come back down the trend line, but it did not crack. So far, it's holding up. It has tested the trend line. 
but not broke yet. So we could see Anchor get back going, and it's only three cents down from my initial entry at 15 and 15 and a half, something like that. So I'm not too concerned about it as long as it continues on the uptrend. OGN is feeling a little sketchy. That was one of my other swings. It looks pretty bad right now. It has been in this downtrend, and you can see the moving averages are pointing down, and it is now testing the bottom of this trend line again. If it cracks below this trend line, it could get very ugly for OGN. But once again, we're close to a downtrend. So in the next two or three days, we're either going to see a trend reversal and a lot of these coins move back up, or we're going to see a big sell-off. And there may be just focused coins every day that have some runs, but not the whole entire market. So be keeping a close eye on the markets and Bitcoin for the next couple of days to be sure. Scale my other position, I'm still holding because I got in at 50 cents, so I'm still up on this one just a little bit. It did make a nice run and tried to break that downtrend, so if we can continue to build higher lows here and build a low right at this area, then we could see it break out here in the next couple of days. So overall, there's a lot of mixed sentiment in the crypto right now. I think you got to be pretty close to your phone or your computer checking those charts every once in a while to make sure that positions are not crashing out, especially if you are swing trading or day trading. If you're long-term investing and you've been in these for a long time and you're up profits and they're not even near your entry, then you're probably good to go. At some point, we will find a bottom and turn around, and it does look like that may be in the next couple of days. But just be cautious because sometimes the U.S. stock market can affect the crypto markets. I don't really understand why they have nothing to do with each other really, but the stock market is on a path to have some nice pullbacks here very soon. So hopefully that does not affect the crypto market this time, but it could. Keep that in mind as the stock market opens back up tomorrow early, and I'll update you on what I saw in the stock market and what we may be seeing tomorrow night in the cryptos. So I appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time.